Katowice. In the late 16th century, it was scarcely a village. It graduated to township in 1865, and today it has a population of 350,000. No matter how far back into the past you go, this part of Poland has always been called Black Silesia. Some 200 billion tons of coal lie under its soil, and more than half of Poland's steel mills have been built here to have these formidable resources close at hand. The Vistula seems to fade away in all of this industrial smother. But the river is still a great escape, a breath of fresh air for the people who live here, if the spaces between it and the forest of smokestacks and mining rigs can be kept green or brought back to life. The polluted waters discharged by the mills are certainly no help to vegetation. But the greenery is being restored as part of the whole Vistula project. Trees and shrubs are being planted, water purified, playgrounds built for children. A great triangular park surrounded by three towns, Katowice, Horzov, and Ziemianowice, is already a haven for people who live in the shadow of grit and grime and who might otherwise forget what nature is. Artificial lakes are also on the blueprints. And if all goes according to plan, they will have a stabilizing effect both on the level of the river and the mental health of the local citizens. A few kilometers away, the smog suddenly lifts and the mind clears with the air. That 24-hour-a-day factory called a town can be forgotten, at least for a while. Weekend, an expression not found in the Polish language, can be understood without further explanation in these surroundings. The people who come here seem to have crossed a real border and discovered a land which they have not known until now. They even dress up for their excursion back to nature. It is that important to make a complete break with their workday life. Even the fish have a festive air about them, and they taste like fish instead of diesel oil. Meanwhile, these flying or floating saucers drift across the quiet scene. <laughs> 